Hey everybody, Vicky here from Tales on the Trails, and this is a video, it's a time lapse, essentially, of me making a vending machine from All Out Games. It's a Nuka Cola vending machine. Got the 3D image which we were gonna print. I tried to record it, it didn't, but I did get it curing in the UV wash and cure station. It comes in two or three parts. I didn't use the back. There we go, got it all bonded together and we are starting on the painting. The tripod did take a tumble because the printer bumped it. But anyways, the first layer down of the, I think I used like crimson red. It is just a standard, basic, cheap red acrylic paint. There's nothing special about it. Just need to coat the entire thing in, a, well, I think I did four layers. This is just the first one going on. I didn't use any primer because it bonds really well to the resin. Don't know why, it just does. And you know, white is always a really good colour to work with. You know, we can make it anything. So I just kept going over it all over the different areas. The little door thing, um, it has little bottles inside it. Uh, kept that white because it's going to be white anyway, or off-white let's say. Just keep going through all the little bits. So essentially the Nuka Cola vending machine is a vending machine for Nuka Cola. It's found in uh, Nuka World and across the Commonwealth in the Fallout games. Fallout 4 is my favourite and yes there is lots of Nuka Cola. I am obsessed with Nuka Cola. Love it so much. So essentially people would put a coin in the little coin slot and they will get a, a bottle of Nuka Cola. Since the Great War, before the war, sorry, um, yeah, people just take them and they do restock somewhere. I don't know what happens or where it comes from, but there we go. We have like four layers down, a nice and bright red, like a fire engine. Anyway, so now we've got that done, we are now touching up the edges of the white. Sounds silly, but I did go over it a little bit. I'm going to add white to the logo. I did stick with white. In a lot of the pictures you'll see it's like an off yellow, but that's because of weathering. These Nuka Cola machines would have been out there in against the elements essentially for over 200 years and it's quite miraculous they work. So that's why they were a bit faded or dirty or rusty. But this one is quite new. I mean in future I might make it, you know, rusty and a bit battered. For now, we're going for the plain white. Nice and crisp. Well, as crisp as we can make it. We're just going over the raised, beveled Nuka Cola sign. And that was dry. So now what I was doing was going through the back of the dispensary, the door, where you pick up your Nuka Cola from, and making it a grey colour. There are little tiny grids in there. Um, and eventually I did highlight them silver to make them pop out a little bit. It looks kind of cool. Quite happy with that. And we're just going... Anything that's going to be silver, I was painting grey first because it, it really helps with the colour in the future. Makes it stand out and look pretty. There's a little grill on the side as well. It's all acrylic paint. Very simple to do. Nothing special. Let's keep going over the raised parts with a fine brush. All the hinges, little bits, hinges on the side, we can't forget those. And one there as well, the handle, we can't forget the handle. And there we go, it's all grey, I did go over with a highlight of like a silver over the top of it, so it's shiny, which I think really does help it. Then we have this. There's a screen at the top. I took this screenshot from the game, facing one of these vending machines in the game in Nuka World. We have it at the top. It's meant to be a little screen. It shows a, a park safety announcement for Nuka World, which is a big theme park. That came out quite well. And there we are. That is actually finished now. I painted the little bottles. We've got two bottles of Nuka Cola at the top. We've got a Nuka Cherry, the red one, at the bottom. And then the blue one is meant to be the Quantum, which is a little bit nuclear. I did dirty it up just a little bit, just add a little bit of texture, I guess. 
yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching. All the best, and happy trails.